It's your verdict. Give us the answer. Good evening, sir. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this interview with us. Good evening. I would like to start by asking you about your growing up years um, in Madras. Can you tell us something about that? Um, I am from a not a typical Tambram family. Even though my grandfather had shifted to Chennai sometime in the early 19, 19, 1920. In fact, this house come office where we are sitting now is uh, done in 1991, uh, 1921, which makes it about 90 years old now. So we are at sort of a died in the wood Chennaiites. My earliest recollections of uh, Chennai are, are my extraordinarily pleasant memories of uh, Vidya Mandir where I studied. It was then and to an extent still remains uh, one of the premier schools in the city. And uh, thereafter I went on to do my um, graduation from the Loyola College in Chennai and then went into law. Uh, Chennai has grown in astronomical proportions since uh, I recall it in the 1960s. Very large extent to the better, it's become much more cosmopolitan. Um, to an extent, we feel sad that some of the old uh, traditions of Chennai are dying or dead. That's part of life. I notice you call it Chennai and not Madras. Is there a particular reason for that? I am just now getting used to calling it Chennai, even now I let slip Madras uh, very often and I have to keep reminding myself that actually Madras was an interloper. Chennai was the original name of this town, it's called uh, Chennai from Chennaipatnam, which is the small fishing village about 10-12 kilometers from here where it started over 323-30 years back. It was only when the English uh, British Raj set up the Madras Corporation that uh, Chennai first came, Madras as a concept came into being. Tell us about memories of your father, sir. Um, we read a lot, but uh, you can tell us first hand. Yeah. He's my father. V.P. Raman, um, Contrary to popular opinion, was not from a family of lawyers. He was the first lawyer in our entire Raman family. So, my grandfather, my great grandfathers on the maternal or paternal side, we didn't have a single lawyer. My grandmother and grandfather, in fact, wanted my father to join the Indian Civil Service. And he sort of put his foot down and uh, took to law and uh, the rest, rest is history, is history. <laughs> so was law an obvious choice for you uh, law was definitely a option for uh, one of the three of us we are three yes. siblings all three boys my elder brother mohan who's a very leading um, television and cinema personality and uh, human resources uh, consultant. He did his MBA from XLRI and chose his own path, uh, consciously wanting to avoid law as a profession. I chose law even as I was in my school days. Okay. I was largely interested in uh, debating and I had sort of got fascinated by watching my father from my childhood. In fact, my earliest memories of my father are sitting in his office with his clients and he used to encourage me to come in and sit down even as a 12, 13 year old boy. So I just sit there sometimes and keep watching them discuss. I may not understand what was happening, but it was still something which you grow up with. And uh, all my father's uh, colleagues, the juniors in the firm were all my, like my uncles and aunts and uh, it was a very big family. And was there a lot of legal talk at home during lunches, dinners? Curiously enough, my father uh, was uh, much into music and literature. So 
barring a few uh, friends from the legal fraternity, uh, much of his uh, friends were in uh, other fields who had common interests in music and uh, literature. I think music and literature by far would have been his all-consuming passion. After law, no successful lawyer can claim anything other than law to be their uh, focus. But in my, in this case, I would think that music and literature ranked very high and uh, in the house, our house was full of discussions on music and literature therefore. Because my mother was also a very uh, uh, rated Carnatic singer. So you grew up in that uh, That was the background in which I grew up. Law, music and uh, literature and sports to a large extent. My father really encouraged us in sports because he himself played cricket for Loyola College. Okay. He didn't uh, take it up any greater than that. So in my case, he really pushed me in uh, cricket uh, and table tennis, two sports which I really loved as uh, a child. Therefore, Logically, I joined league cricket and uh, went on to play senior division league in um, TNCA for almost seven years. Opened for Madras University along with uh, VB Chandrasekhar, who later went on to play for India. Yeah, yes. Through school, I opened with Krishnamachari Srikant, who also went on to play for India. So I played uh, a fairly high level of cricket uh, up to uh, up to law. In fact. First year of law, I was I was possibly one of the first uh, law college students to be actually playing for Madras University in Rowington Barrier. Let your verdict give us the answer. <laughs>